Not bad. Not bad at all. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Hey everyone, welcome to another review. Welcome to my review for the movie If or Imaginary Friends. Yes, this movie stars actually a huge damn cast. So movie stars Kaylee Fleming, Ryan Reynolds, John Krasinski, Matt Damon, Steve Carell, Emily Blunt, Aquafina, Fiona Shaw, Brad Pitt, Vince Vaughn, Matt Damon, the list, Ke Keegan Michael Key, the like huge cast. So much voice acting in this movie. The movie is about a young girl who can see everybody's imaginary friends and she wants to help these imaginary creatures find their lost children and she goes on this really cool fantasy adventure with also the help of a, a, a man named Cal, played by Ryan Reynolds, who basically gave up on all imagination and everything like that. It's actually cool to see Ryan Reynolds not play a role that is well, Ryan Reynolds, because he just plays himself, the goofy character, uh, the goofy smartass in all his movies, so it was cool to see him play actually like a cynical kind of role, and this movie was quite good, actually. I don't know what, what the critics uh, are talking about, I, I actually thought If was pretty good, I actually enjoyed this movie, the movie's directed by uh, Jonathan Krasinski, uh, who I enjoy his movies because I love the Quiet Place movies, <laughs> they're all great. And, yeah, I, I thought it was very imaginative. I thought it was a really good kids movie. It's a good movie for kids with a good message for kids to, you know, trust in your imagination and be creative and stuff. It's also a, a, a good movie about adults and growing up and forgetting those lost childlike memories you have. It, there's a lot of good stuff in this movie. I think it's a great movie for kids and it's a great movie for adults. There's nothing harmful in this movie. And I think it's very, again, visually pleasing. I think it's very colorful and it's, it's very fun. And it, it, there's, it's not like laugh out loud hilarious or anything. There's some funny jokes here and there, but it relies a lot on its characters, which are really good. I think Ryan Reynolds is really good. I think the lead girl, uh, I think Kaylee Fleming is great she's a young actress and she kills it a lot of kid actors well no offense to them aren't always the best actors but she's really great she's really great in this movie and it was really cool seeing a lot of the different voice actors as all these different creatures it was really cool some of the worlds could have been a little more creative but i thought they were fun i thought they were enjoyable and i thought the movie itself was very fun and very enjoyable it's definitely a movie if this came out when i was a kid i would definitely dig the shit out of it and have a lot of fun with it it's definitely not as deep as like where the wild things are, but it's it's good. It's good. It's not mindless. It's not stupid. It's not harmful, and it's actually got something to say. And I enjoyed it. The music's nice. It's well shot, and I can tell John Krasinski was trying very hard to you know convey a message about being a kid and being a child and growing up and losing that innocence and stuff and it's done very well i do think it gets a, a little too savvy there are some great emotional hard-hitting scenes in the film but i think when it gets to the ending it gets a little overly sentimental to the point it almost feels manipulative i don't know if that's the way he was going but it kind of felt like it. they're trying so hard to make you cry there's like one scene that's really good and very effective but then there's like four more after that and they just weren't needed. And I think it just kind of let the movie down a little. And there are a couple modes. I think that the length could have been trimmed a little bit. It's like a two hour movie. It could have easily been like an hour 35 easily. But it's a good movie. It's a good kids movie, good adventure story. And it's all about imagination. What could wouldn't love that so definitely take your kids to go see this they'll have a good time and you as an adult as the parent will also have a good time so check out if on a scale of one to ten i'm going to give the movie if a seven out of ten definitely check it out it's, it's good it's quite good not a quiet place good but still good <laughs> so let me know in the comments below what is the most imaginative kids movie ever made comment below let me know and as always if you like this video please subscribe to this channel and join the duck side